The FLIR One is a device that connects to your smartphone and allows you to see infrared light. I'm going to show you how this works, and I have to say it's pretty amazing. This is the next generation FLIR One, and they've ditched the case design that's specific to a particular phone for a universal design that instead attaches to your phone's charging port. They have two versions, one with a lightning connector for iOS that can be plugged in facing front or back, and another with a micro USB connector for Android devices. It uses an app that turns your phone into the display for the thermal camera. To use FLIR One, turn the device on by holding the power button, plug it into your phone, and launch the FLIR app. Now your phone is actually showing you infrared heat. The glass on the left is filled with hot tea, and the glass on the right is ice water. The FLIR One uses a two-camera setup they call MSX technology. One is a thermal camera, and the other is a visible light camera that outlines the subject to give you a better idea of what you're looking at. It has its own battery, so it's not draining your phone when it's plugged in. While this is great, the battery seems to only last for around 30 minutes before it needs recharged. It also comes with a lanyard and carrying case, so you can just throw it in your bag and not worry about it getting scratched up. Let's talk about the app. The app works a lot like the iPhone's camera app. You can record video, take a photo, capture a panoramic image, and even set up a time lapse to see how heat is changing over time. There are nine different palettes you can use. My favorites are Lava Flow, and they also have Rainbow, which many of us know as the classic Predator Vision. There are also seven other palettes that highlight hot and cold and show heat patterns in different shades. So how well does the FLIR One work? Let's do a test. Now the room is completely dark, but with the FLIR One I can clearly tell my dog is on the couch. I'm filling this cup up with hot water. You can see the cup changing temperature as it heats up. When I pour the water out, it looks like it's molten iron. Besides this camera being a lot of fun, let's look at some of its practical uses. Here's a door where I installed weather stripping. I want to see how effective I'm keeping the heat inside. By taking a look, I can see the tops and sides of the door are warm, but heat is escaping through the floor. Now I know I need to replace the weather stripping on the bottom of the door. This is a space heater. It's not running, but it's plugged in. It's generating a lot of heat, and therefore using a lot of electricity. Now I know to unplug it to save on energy. Then I came across a fire hazard. This curtain is right over my heating vent, and I measured its temperature at 118 degrees Fahrenheit. I would have had no idea of this risk if I wasn't using the FLIR to inspect the house. The FLIR one is really easy to use, and so far it seems incredibly reliable. I haven't experienced any issues except for the poor battery life, and it really would be nice if there was a way to remove the FLIR logo on the top left. So you're probably wondering, do I really need this? Thermal cameras used to cost thousands of dollars, but you can pick up a FLIR one for 250. That's pretty incredible when you consider what you're getting. If you want to make your home more energy efficient, this is a great way to quickly see where heat and cold are escaping from your house and what appliances are energy hogs. But I have to admit, the FLIR one is just really fun to use as well.